Closing arguments were heard today in the case against Kalani Flowers, accused of hitting the, the motorcycle of her ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend. The defense, represented by attorney Dickie Bradley, argued that the four witnesses presented by the prosecution were faulty and argued that their testimonies were not credible. Two of these are statements given by police officers at the scene after the incident. They defy common sense because if you see, you see a red car pick up speed, heavy speed, come with a massive force to hit, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know about motorcycle, 600cc ninja bike with two occupants on it, with such force that you can send that motorbike flying 65 feet till it bounces into the pickup at the gate of the church. And the occupants be flung the distances I told you. Come on, man, it would have to be some kind of force to cause that. But we had the photographs of the car taken by the police shortly after the accident and the day afterwards. And there's not a scratch, not a dig, not a dent. No tire mark to the front. The license plate is right there. Nothing. And this is a small car. One of the strongest points the defense put forth was that Flowers' car, which is presumed to be the murder weapon, sustained no damages to suggest that it ever collided with the motorcycle. Co-counsel Arthur Saldiva spoke with Love News about how much the defense is hinging on the car evidence. The car is the case. The case is the car. It's like with the OJ trial, you know, if the gloves don't fit, you must acquit. The car is the case. If they cannot show, and I don't believe from the evidence they showed that the car was involved in a high-speed collision, you cannot say then that Miss Flowers did anything with her car. Remember, she was driving the car. The, 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 the case is not that she reached out from inside the car and grabbed Mr. Morrison's clothes and pulled them off the bike. That's not the case. The case is not that she hung her hand and frightened him and he fell. The case is that he, she took the car, used it as a battering ram, and rammed the cycle with the car. That's the case. So if that is not there, the car doesn't show that that happened, the rest is up to you. It has been four years that Kalani Flowers is at the Colby Foundation. Saldiva spoke about her condition as a lupus patient. Ms. Flowers is a person who uh, has lupus. She is a lupus patient. Um, it has not been easy on her um, being where she is. Um, she has maintained from the inception of this matter that she is, she is innocent. And there is nothing that has transpired in the court to lead me to believe otherwise. Um, so we are hoping at this point that with everything that has been said, with everything that has been brought before the court, that she will be in a position thereafter to resume her normal life. After the prosecution submitted their final arguments, the judge stated that he would be reviewing the case and returning with the verdict sometime next week.